Morgan Elizabeth Dole here, York, Pennsylvania, United States of America. I hope this travels the world. I really do. Read my lips never. I will never be the Queen of England, United Kingdom. I'll never have Morgan Elizabeth Dole for Queen. I'm a daughter of the Most High God. I am royalty in Jesus. I am a royal priesthood. And they f with the wrong family. They really f with the wrong family. God will give me royal authority. I rule and reign with Jesus in heavenly places. I'm a king and a priest unto my God, Yahweh, Elohim El Elyon. I am not the Christ. I am not antichrist. I am not the Christ. I am not false prophet. But I am a prophet of the Most High God. And I'm ready to roar for him. It's time for the king to roar. The one true king, king of kings, lord of lords, king Jesus. The one true. Amen. Oh, that was a 26 year old uh, Morgan Dobb. Uh, she recorded that after uh, Queen Elizabeth over in England uh, passed away late last year. And that's where the I'm not gonna be Queen of England line came from. But it's kind of all over the place. And people were wondering after hearing what happened with her, uh, where this came from and exactly where her grasp on reality was. Because uh, that ominous message came, uh, like I said, uh, over the last year, but also it's getting more attention because she and her parents all committed suicide at their home. And um, it startled a bunch of folks. Actually, here's a news report about exactly what they did and what happened. Shock and sadness in this West Manchester Township neighborhood. The York County Coroner says 62 year old James Dobb and his 59 year old wife Deborah and his 26 year old daughter Morgan were all shot in the head. But the manner of death is different. The father and the mother are homicide victims, according to the coroner. The daughter's death has been ruled suicide. It, it's sad that, that they felt they had to take their life. Who shot who is still not completely clear, with the coroner determining all three family members pre-planned their deaths. The coroner says that determination is based on evidence found at the scene and conversations with the family. I just wish they could have got help. I wish somebody could have, somebody could have knew that they were having problems. The decision to do that was based on a bunch of things and people are trying to uh, cobble it all together. So this is the details of at least of what went down as far as folks that knew them from, from I guess friends from church and also specifically, uh, there's a particular guy from a bowling alley to try to get some kind of details as to why they went in this direction. So the West Manchester Township Police Department has since said that notes left inside the house indicate that family recently made this joint decision to end their lives. Brett Stabley said that the Christian uh, said the Christian church going family was never shy about letting anybody know what their beliefs were when it came to religion and politics. Morgan and Deborah, the mother and daughter, very, very huge supporters of former President Donald Trump is what Stabley said. They were just so hell bent on Trump winning, like this could be the end if he doesn't. He also said, referring to an instance when he saw them just before the 2020 election. He said he stopped seeing the two after that. He was the uh, uh, the instructor at their local bull and I. They said he said they showed up all the time. They were good friends of the situation. And in fact, the videos that he thought later saw of Morgan speaking like we saw at the beginning here, he said he was shocked and never saw her speak like that. Some question whether or not she had uh, mental health issues, but definitely was indoctrinated in many of these belief systems. Here's another post uh, for more from Morgan, uh, one of the three that she left on her YouTube page uh, that I guess continues to confuse exactly where she was going and these belief systems. Think about it as you see this. My life has been stolen from me. I've basically basically been forced, conscripted into the United States military against my will. I am nearly held hostage in my house, nearly under house arrest. I have done nothing wrong. I'm an innocent American civilian. I have been brought into something so much bigger than you could ever possibly imagine and so much more evil than you could ever possibly imagine. There are some bad times coming and some really good times. 
you say, isn't this bad enough? Apparently not for Donald Trump, who thinks we need to see all the evil and experience all of it for ourselves before he does anything. Oh, this is just a conspiracy nut. Whatever. I don't care anymore. It's Trump and Hussein. Can't you see it? Trump and Hussein pulling the strings. Trump and Hussein. So apparently they were very uh, big Trump supporters. Apparently their lawn was uh, covered in Trump uh, paraphernalia, but she apparently had some mixed thoughts about him that apparently also involved Hussein. Of course, she was referring to uh, President Obama there. But there's one more piece about it there still, Mondale, because I know this childhood friend did talk about how strict the household was. And if you remember during that, she said, I've been held hostage, but she said by you know government and somehow the military. This is how she grew up. Said so she grew up in a very uptight Christian household. Her family life, according to CPS, was perfect, but the amount of control her parents had over her was crazy. She wasn't allowed to go out with friends. She wasn't allowed on any social media. Anything fun that she liked to do was only allowed to do it with supervision. It was kind of like she was a prisoner in her own home. Think about that line. It was kind of like she was a prisoner in her own home is what the friend identified only as Samantha said uh, to another YouTube personality who was interviewing them about this entire thing uh, after it all went down. There was apparently a scripture, uh, Samuel chapter one, verse 24, I believe, uh, that the reasons why they specifically planned to do this on January 24th, uh, their bodies were found on January 25th. And people are still wondering and asking questions about what it is that was going on and the control around it and what they thought they're getting to Mondale. Yeah, I um, I, I hear this young lady's message and it's actually, I mean, I see her projecting on the government, uh, the shadow government, uh, critiquing and calling out political figures when in actuality, I think uh, like her friend said, she's talking about her parents. Forced conscripted into the military in my own house, I'm a prisoner. Uh, I'm, I'm held against my will. Uh, like, do you think this is just a conspiracy? Because it's not a conspiracy if the problem is the way she's being raised. First of all, we're talking about a 26 year old. The amount of control that a parent levied over this this this, this young woman uh, is it's 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 more than in enmeshing of this child's life. They they completely held her as prisoner. Um, this video looked like a uh, a captured uh, POW. Um, and I and I and, and and it's confusing and as dark as this story is, I, I hear so much not just uh, com- like conflictions between her and her parents' views probably on Trump. She probably didn't care for Trump. <laughs> I heard her friends say, you know, that this this was a person who was into boys, but also felt like she was not uh, born into the right body. Mm-hmm. Uh, she. Uh, so I mean, like, there's there's a lot of stuff that was going on with this young lady uh, early on, and I and I I tell you what happens when when neighbors play this game of, oh, if we would have known, uh, the way this this yard was littered with Trump information, the way that you thought at the end of 2022 that the world was ending when you talked to them means you did know, because it's not normal to believe that if your candidate does not win an election, the world comes to an end. So the fact that you saw all these signs, their yards littered with Trump information. Covered, completely covered with Christian information uh, and them going to people's house trying to convert people to Christianity were all these signs that they chose to ignore. Um, the fact that they didn't let their 26 year old daughter learn how to drive or leave the house mm. are problematic signs that something's going on in that house. But everybody sat idle, quiet until they were dead in the backyard. I feel like sometimes, uh, you know, and this isn't the responsibility necessarily of politicians or leaders or, or pundits or anyone like that. But whenever we see someone go off of, I mean, we got the Q folks. When we see normal people, well, we would seem normal people go off of these thought processes and these belief systems. They don't really think that they'll take it to the extreme that they're pushing it to. They're like, well, I'm just trying to get elected. I'm just trying to make a little bit of money. I'm just trying to make sure you guys watch me and up and all this stuff. And they go way over the top. But there's people who believe it. They think grown folks won't believe this stuff, but. Many folks are in situations where they're like, uh, this is my indoctrination, this is my thought process, this is how I'm gonna go about life. Maybe because of how desperate they are to get any kind of way ahead. Who knows the ins and outs of what it is that they've been going through. But you have to think about the cartoonish over the top things that you force people to, to believe in their political uh, uh, back and forth when you run out of normal things like policy legislation, how you can actually use people's tax dollars to better our lives overall. It's pretty simple, straightforward things you could be working on, but instead it's too busy trying to demonize. And then we always go into the realm of, well, God likes this person and God dislikes that one. This is how these things end up in that point of view. And who knows where her mind was as far as, as you pointed out, she wasn't sure she was born in the right body and all these things. It's 
it's devastating and I'm not sure if people stop and realize the effect they have on others. There's positions of power that you're in and people listen to you. Um, I hope that wasn't the degree of what it was. I'm sure this happens in other aspects that are not political, but this one was.